Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, hope y'all doing well. Today I'm just strolling around a little bit, uh, checking out different parts of Curitiba. Cause like I said, I probably only know uh, maybe 50% of the city. Uh, right now I'm in Centro Civico. Centro Civico. Seems pretty nice. Seems pretty chill. They got the tube right there for the bus. Big old a lot of big buildings. All right, now I think I'm just entering Barrio San Francisco. I should have been went to go eat. I passed up like 10 restaurants, half of them being Buffet Libre, uh, buffet restaurants. But I guess like, I'm thinking to myself, like after I eat, I probably ain't gonna wanna walk that much. So we'll see. That restaurant didn't have much stuff left, so I left because they about to close soon. Really interesting. This is like a restaurant slash clothing store. Obrejo. So it's like used clothes. Wow. Interesting. All right, this is a very interesting place. Uh, definitely doesn't look like a place that serves food. But, um, it's like it's just like a little cafe, you know, with, you know, also selling clothes, used clothes. Very interesting. Uh, I'm curious how the like, food is gonna taste, so let's see. see yeah, I see it's a cafe. And I uh, got an antique table over there. I don't see nobody else eating or asking for food. There's people coming in asking, you know, about the clothes and stuff like that. But other than that, uh, I'm the only one eating. It's kind of weird. Yo, this incline ain't no joke. Food was cool. I am heading to this area because uh, a friend of mine sent me a video about the impact of Afro-Brazilians in Curitiba. If you come to Curitiba, you wouldn't think there were, there weren't, you know, many uh, black people here, many Afro-Brazilians. But come to find out, they were. And they had uh, played a huge role in the development of the city. So I'm going to this church and around this church, I guess they helped construct everything around it. They ran this church, uh, it's a Catholic church. So yeah, I'm gonna go check it out, take it out with me. And uh, shout out to uh, shout out to my friend Walter, cause he's the one who sent me the video, cause I had no clue. So uh, let's go. 
This area of the city is pretty chill too. A lot more cobblestone, not cobblestone, but a uh, road of brick around this area than the area that I, that I live in. Uh, I would say that would probably be the main difference. All right, y'all, look like we made it. Uh, the name of the church is Igreja Genosa Senora do Rosario. That's the name of the church. Uh, I'm going to leave the link to the video that my friend sent me uh, in the description. So, yeah, let's look around. But uh, I think it's also called, like, just this area is called Linha Preta. Linha Preta. So, I'm going to leave that uh, link to the video. I'm gonna leave that link to the video in the description for y'all. Yeah, let's let's check it out. So this is the church right here. Igreja de Nossa Senhora do Rosario. So Afro Brasileiros, they ran that church. And I guess I believe they helped construct and form all of this that you see around this area, which is called Linha Preta. Yeah, let's uh, take a little stroll around. So it looks like a art school right here. Pretty cool. Then we have a, is that another church? I'm not sure. Got a couple of bars right here, restaurants. This is interesting right here. This is like something that was in the video I saw. Talking about Linha Preta. Let's see if they have something. I like this class out here. So yeah, it looks like they're conserving the ruins of a church that was first, uh, where well, they started building in 1809. I forgot when they uh, finished it, but yeah, they're conserving it. And um, yeah, I thought this, I think it's very interesting. I have to look at more of the history of Linha Preta and everything about it, but uh, it definitely, I guess, the meaning is to show like the influence of Afro Brazilians in uh, here in Paraná, the state of Paraná. Y'all want y'all can eat at that buffet for under three dollars. Yeah, the greenery in this little plaza, it's really, it's really nice, comforting. They have a little place to play for kids too. 
I am now looking for some place to just sit down, study, read. Yeah, let's see. There's many, there's a number of places, not sure the places. Can't be too picky. I would have set it in, but I'm looking for something a little bit more quiet. Let's keep looking. 